Sure. Um, proud of our guys. I think they fought hard. I think, you know, when you, uh, Travis Moss was rolling through five and then uh, I think even five and two thirds and then their guy hit a, what appeared actually to be a home run and Harris almost made a heck of a catch in left field. And, and honestly, Mo just hit a wall. Moss just hit a wall at that point in time. And, and for them to basically, what I think it was all with two outs, they got four runs for the most part, something like that. And um, for our guys to be able to withstand that, I think speaks volumes for our guys because because we were cruising, we're up four to nothing, cruising, and Mo was cruising on the bump, and then all of a sudden the wheels you know fall off a little bit, and four to four for our guys to be able to battle back and win. I think we got out of a man on second, no one out, and maybe the seventh Roberts, um, and, and the guy did not score for the go ahead run. Guys fought hard, proud of them. Ethan, you've been relied upon all season in those late game situations. Mm -hmm. What allows you to be so successful at the end of games? Uh, just knowing what I've done to. Get ready for these moments, and knowing that I'm my back's against the wall, and I got to fight. That's basically all I think about. And coach, having a player like him in a tournament setting, how valuable is that? It's it's valuable anytime. I mean, what he did today is what he's done all season. Mo goes six on Friday. We bring Robbie in for three. It sets the tone for the weekend. These two guys are animals on the mound, and we're so fortunate to have them. I mean, I was just trying to attack hitters, get ahead, and uh, I thought I did a good job getting that, getting ahead of guys, and defense made plays behind me, and if, if you stay ahead, then you, you're, it's in your favor. Coach, what is it that makes this offense so potent? I mean, it's been well written about this past week. You know, you see day in, day out, what is it about this team? I think it's nine, I mean, plus the bench. I mean, it, it's it's deep. There aren't any holes. You you can't meander your way around a couple guys that are that are good. You got nine guys that you have to deal with, and these guys will fight you. And I mean that from a baseball standpoint. Obviously, they'll fight at the plate, and there there just there isn't really a hole. If I'm the opposition, I don't look at that and say, well, we can pitch around this guy to get to these two guys. It does it doesn't work that way. But I also give us credit because there are days like today where I think we had seven hits, and again we fought and found a way to get six runs on the board, which was enough. Well, you know, it, it's very similar, honestly, to a regular season, Mitch. I mean, you've got – you're basically, um, you know, play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the turnaround sometime you play Friday night, like this game's getting ready to go, and then you play the next – early afternoon. So this is actually a long time for us to wait to, to turn around and play. And our guys are excited and, and uh, you know, we'll be ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna throw Marcus Evie. He's been he's been throwing right behind Moths all year. We're just gonna keep that same that same order. Marcus is uh, can be electric. Coach, you're obviously the narrative around your team is the offensive side of the ball. Do you think your defense is underrated? Absolutely, I think our defense is underrated. You know, if you go back and look at last year's statistics, um, a very similar defense to what we had last year, a lot of the same pieces. This year we did not defend quite as well statistically. Um, last year we were 983 in our 30 OVC games. And these guys can really play defense. And, you know, it, like I said, it's the same group. This is a good defensive group with a lot of veteran, mature, experienced leaders. Travis, talk about would you be ready to play Monday night if necessary? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just got ahead with the fastball, try my best to get ahead with the fastball, uh, kind of pitch backwards a little bit, get ahead with the curveball on, on, the, on the lefties usually. Um, just attacking, just like Mo. If you go at guys, sometimes they'll lay down and that's what they did. You just go get them. Coach, you were in this situation last year, the same game. Is there anything you can take from that experience wise with the, the guys that were here last year? You know, I, I don't know. That, that's a fair, good question. You know, we, we faced Casey Mize. I mean, like, like I, and not that Ole Miss or St. Louis isn't going to throw somebody really good at us. We know that they will. But I think, you know, I don't look back at last year's game, too, and say, wow, if we'd have done this different or that different, Auburn just beat us. Casey Mize was really good. Their second baseman made three incredible plays, game-changing plays, and I just tip my hat to them. We're going to go out and, and play the best baseball we can tomorrow, regardless of who we play. Play. We're a good enough team that when we do that, we'll have a chance to win.